Never be ashamed of your scars. They will turn you into a star. This is coming from Nollywood um, actress and businesswoman, Messi Aibe. She's looking back and sharing some lessons. In an inspirational message she shared on Instagram, along with a photo from her domestic violence saga, she said, and I quote, I want to reach out to someone out there. You think your life has been decimated by scars. You find it hard to forgive yourself and others that have been part of the mess in your life. I have good news for you. Your mess will soon become a message. Your errors are gradually turning in you into a hero. Your trials will soon become triumph. Your adversity is turning to your advancement. Um, your frustration will soon become your foil and your scars will one day turn you into a star. So basically, she was just using her post to encourage people to let them know that whatever they're going through now is not um, the end of life. There's always a better That's part of it. So, well, yeah. something I got from all of this is that um, victims of domestic violence should really speak up. Do you understand? There was this... I'm sorry I'm dragging Teddy and Bam Bam into this all over again. When Teddy was accused of um, beating up Bam Bam and all of that, we also agreed on the statement that we just hope a few years down the line you will not come to retract your statement to say that no, he has never done that. Because if a man keeps hating on a woman, then you need to speak up. Because at the end of the day, you, we've seen cases of women who've lost their life to domestic violence and all of that. So one particular thing I took away from our message is that, look, if you're suffering any form of violence, domestic violence from a man, kindly speak up. I'm sure she stayed in it for a while, thinking that, okay, we'll get better and all of that. And it led to bruises all over her face. Mm. And I think any man who would do that to a woman is a beast. For Honestly, me. I think um, it's, I mean, it's easy to advise people to, you know, leave the marriage, mm -hmm. but I, when they're in that position, I feel like it's not, if it was easy, a lot of people would not really want to stay there. And I suffer. think we it's can only just keep, We can only really. just keep, you know, talking to them or advising them or speaking of that, you know, if you're going through this, just speak up, but like, you, you can't put so much pressure on them at that point to, you know, leave their marriage. No, I didn't say leave. I said speak up. Well, from what her message, what I picked from it is, now, I think she's speaking, I don't know what her um, aim is in this mm. um, message, but for me, it reflects more on those that have found the courage to speak mm. and are out and sometimes, or even when mm. they're trying to come out, they feel like it's the end of the road, if I leave, what's going to happen to me and how is it? And she's basically saying, regardless of what it has been, you have to forgive yourself for the choices you have made because sometimes you don't even blame the person abusing you. You blame yourself for choosing this person. You start asking yourself, uh, didn't I see this sign? Why did I end up? What have I done? What kind of sin have I committed for God to send Surface. this kind of you know so you question yourself over and over again and you don't forgive yourself so i think she's just advising people to yeah. really forgive themselves I like the message. and be able to move on from the hurt because yes you've been hurt yes you've go, gone through the pain but you have to be able to pick yourself up back because if you don't pick yourself nobody's going to do it for you she also says something that that's your own choice being able to pick is not um, being abused might be inevitable, but being able to move on from that pain is not inevitable. It is your own choice. So if you decide mm -hmm. to stay in it and not look for opportunities for yourself and come out of it and forgive yourself, then you'll be there. Nobody can help you out of it mm -hmm. if you're not ready to help yourself. For me, that's what I picked. I, mean, I, like, to help mm -hmm. I like the message. I'm coming from somebody that is a victim myself. Yeah. So people will understand. People that are mm. in that position will understand, and they'll be able to relate better. So mm. I think more women that have been able to, you know, get themselves out of this need to start speaking okay. to encourage other women that are in their shoes to, you know, get out of it. So. Okay. And I think there should be a maximum prison sentence for men who lay their hands on women. Do you understand? Mm. Like they should be serving like. 50 years in jail. <laughs> no, no, for real, because we keep referring, before the old feminist thing, we keep referring to women as the weaker vessel, as the ones we need to protect. So if those women are looking up to you for them to be protected, for them to be loved, for them to be cared for, and then you think the way to pay them back is by beating, no matter what a woman does, 
you need to still show her love because it's not easy being a woman to even start with. Now, this okay, is so the thing is, men that if it's women, yeah, they are cowards in the first place. So I think one of the problems is the fact that woman is not looking up to them for a lot of things. And I think the society the starts, and so. upbringing also comes mm. into play. So this is going out to all the um, young parents and aspiring parents as well. What you show your kids at the things that they would actually display when they also get married. So try to be a good father. Try not to lay your hands on their mother before this goes on. Right. If we start going into reasons or causes <laughs> of domestic violence, it's actually a complicated one, but yeah. all I know is that it cannot be tolerated. And if you are in an abusive relationship, please, finding your way out of it is very important, except you want to be dead in it.